welcome back to my channel. My name is Brett. I'm a high school special education teacher and I have been talking all things reading on my channel and we'll be doing it for the next couple of months. So make sure you subscribe if this is something that you are struggling with or interested in in your classroom. <laughs> If you missed my earlier video on what phonological awareness is, make sure you check that out first. But one of the questions that often comes up is how do I know if this is something I even need to work with on my students, especially if you're like me, working with older students. One of the things I always suggest doing is to start off by giving your students an assessment to see where they are at with their phonological awareness skills. We don't wanna spend a bunch of time doing stuff that they've already mastered. So today I wanna to talk to you guys about a few different options that are free that you can use in the classroom to assess where your students are at and what areas of phonological awareness they might need to work on some more. So the first assessment that I want to talk to you guys about can be found in David Kilpatrick's books, Equipped for Reading Success. This is an amazing book. I've talked about it up here if you want to check out that video and I'll link it below. Um, but he also has the actual assessment piece over on his website for free. As part of this assessment, he goes through the syllable level, the onset rhyme level, and then the phoneme level, both basic and advanced. This is really key because a lot of the assessments out there miss that advanced phonological piece that is, or a lot of our students are struggling with. So I definitely recommend checking that out. If you want to see me giving this past test to a student so you can kind of see what that would look like, check out the video I have linked down below. Another free assessment that you can use is put out by Hegarty. Now Hegarty is another curriculum that I've review, uh, reviewed for phonological awareness, especially those of you that are working with younger students. They have a really great, great curriculum, but they also on their website offer some free phonological awareness assessments. The links for all of these will be found down below, but if you go to the Hegarty website, you will find several different assessments. They offer a pre-kindergarten, kindergarten, and first grade level assessment, both for a pre-beginning of the year, mid-year, and end of year assessment that you can use with your students, especially if you're working with younger students. But the other thing that I wanna highlight is their grade two and above assessment. This is an excellent screener that you can give your students in your class, especially if they are of the older variety, um, to see what areas they might be missing when it comes to phonological awareness. Along with that screener, they give you a uh, assessment that you can periodically give students to see if they're making progress in the areas of adding, deleting, or manipulating those phonemes. If you wanna see an example of me giving that Hegarty assessment, hop on down below to the links and you can check out me giving that assessment as well. Sometimes it's kind of helpful just to see somebody else giving the assessment so that you kind of have an idea of what you're doing. Hegarty also offers these assessments in a Spanish version as well. So that might be really helpful for those of you that are working with ELL or ESL students. Remember, when we're talking about phonological awareness, we are talking about auditory and oral. We are not looking at the actual print or writing at this point. We just want students to be able to manipulate and hear the sounds. So even if our Spanish learners are using their first language, they still should be able to do the same things, hear and manipulate the sounds in those words. I hope these couple of resources will be helpful for you. As always, assessment and data is the key, especially if you're working in special education. So make sure that you utilize these assessments with your students so you can pinpoint exactly what areas you need to work on. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel or hit that bell for notifications, make sure you do that now so that you can be aware of all of the upcoming videos we have on all of the five key components of learning how to read. I will see you guys next time. Bye.